Hello, it's my UFC 127 predictions. Um, um, what it's um, the 26th, isn't it? 26th of um, February, when it is. Um, the first match is the Australian Kyle Nuke versus Chris McMahonzi or something. Don't know. I'm not very good at names. You know that from the previous videos um um Carl Nuk Nuk if how you pronounce his name 18 wins 4 losses and 1 draw he's on a 4 win streak um Chris McKenzie 14 and 3 4 in wins with 3 losses 4 streak as well um I saw Carl Nuk on the um ultimate fighter um, can't remember what team he was on, but he was on that. It was the, it was the last. It wasn't the last one. It's the one before that. Um, and he's had a good run, really. Um, I don't know much about these fighters. I've only seen him once, and the other guy. Now I'm, um, I recognise him, but I can't remember what fight he was in. Um, I'm giving this to Carnu because it's in his hometown, Tokyo. Round two. Um, next match is Chris Lytle v versus Brian Ebersol. Um, Chris Lytle fourteen wins, seven losses, four, four draws. The other guy, forty six wins, fourteen losses, one draw, and one no contest. Now, Chris Lytle was meant to fight um, Carlos Condit. Uh, but he was out. He's, I think, he's leg injury or something. I don't, I don't exactly know. Um, both veterans of the sport. Um, Chris Lyle on a four streak. The last match was against a decision against Matt Sarah. Matt Sarah was a good fight. I enjoyed that one. Um, and the other guys on a seven win streak. Um, so it could go either way. The both relatively experienced very experienced fighters um, but I have to give this one to Chris Lytle I think he's got um, brown game he's well underrated in the UFC um, I'm going to give him submission round one I think he's pulled off when he gets you on the ground he's a black belt I think he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and um, when he get when he when you're on the ground you're not a lot of the time you're not going to get out with Chris Lytle. Um Next match is um, George Stopalopoulos versus Dennis Siva. Siva, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Um, George Stopalopoulos, 14 wins, 2 losses. And the other guy, Dennis Siva, 17 wins, 7 losses. Now, and he's on an 8 streak win. Um, George Sofalopoulos, since, since he's coming to UFC, he's been an excellent, excellent fighter. Um, black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, showed it against Joe Lozon. He's had some good wins over Joe Lozon, Joe Stevenson and Kurt Pellegrino. That's his notable wins, I'd say. And he's, a, he's um, I think he, he improved. He's in his own currently last, last time in Australia he beat Joe Stevenson so I think in the Dennis Seaver I rate him but I don't rate him much in a way he's alright I, th I think he's a great kickboxer one of the best in his division Um, he's on a two win streak quite a good um, last match against um, Andre Winner Um, like that guy as well um, both very good fighters but I have to give this one to George Sopalopoulos round 2 submission submission round 2 um, core main event now um, Michael Beesbing versus George Riviera um, Michael Beesbing on a 2 win streak um, 21 wins 3 losses um, George Riviera, 18 wins, 7 losses. You have to say the record 
MMA record goes to Michael Beesby, 21 and 3, but it doesn't always count. You've seen um, Fedor Melianenko um, last two matches being beat, hadn't he, by um, Antonio Bigfoot Silva last match and Fabricio Fredoon. Um, so I, I, I was going to do um, one solve, I was going to do a discussion on does the record count. It does in a way, in another way it doesn't. Um, both great fighters, uh, it's going to be a stand and bang isn't it. Michael B's been, I have seen him in some boring fights, he's English and I'm English, but I've seen him some in some very boring fights. Um, he's had notable wins over Chris, Chris Levin, Dennis Ang, and Matt Hamill, relatively good fighters, good fighters, yeah. Um, George Riviera has had a, a win, wins over Nate Corey and Kendall Grove, and that was his last win. Um, it's in Australia. Um, Michael B's been lost in Australia last time to the Axe Murder one, the Silver. Silva. Under L. I don't. I'm not good at names. You know that. You know what I mean. You know. Um. um oh, it's a hard one. This. Um. I'm gonna have to give it to. Michael B's big decision. I think he'll just grind him down and win. Um. Main event. B J Penn versus John Finch. Both excellent fighters. Um, BJ, 16 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw. John Finch, 26 wins, 3 losses and 1 no contest. Um, BJ is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as you, every, probably everybody knows. He's got a great ground game. I've never actually seen anybody submit him. Um, obviously his last fight came with a devastating finish to Matt Hughes knocked him out John Finch he's had he's had good um, good wins he's a black belt in gorilla jiu jitsu now I, I don't exactly know what that is um, I think both if both fighters are great fighters I think if John Finch gets the control first I don't think um, takes him down I don't think BJ will win I think John Finch will win by decision if if this is if he gets him down BJ has to use his BJ Penn has to use his speed to his advantage or he's, he's not going to be in the fight he's not going to wrestle him more um, but even if John Finch gets him on the floor on the ground, BJ is class in jiu jitsu, he's a world champion. Um, so, but John Finch is a d wrestler, national NCCA, the national champion, um, wrestler. Um, he'll be hard to submit, I think. I've never seen him submitted. You can comment below if he has been submitted, if you can. Uh, correct me on that one. Um, notable wins for BJ Penn. Well, Diego Sanchez, Kenny Florian, Matt Hughes, Jens Pulver, Sean Shirk, and many others. He's had he's got some great wins. Um, I think last match, the other match, not last match, but the other two matches, he gets Frankie Edgar, Edgar, the new breed of lightweights, I reckon. BJ, don't know if he's in his start, and he's getting on now. I know he's not the oldest, but he's getting on. John Finch sometimes finds his fights boring, but great wrestler. Don't know what his stand up's like. I, I don't think it's that. It's okay. It's not that good though. Got clipped a few times against George Saint Pierre. Obviously the best welterweight in the world. Um, Tiago Alves hit him a few times but I'm gonna give this one to BJ by submission round three I think 
I think he needs to use his speed then if he and I think he'll get taken down but if he gets taken down I think he'll submit him struggle on the ground but I think BJ will get the win so I'm giving BJ the submission okay thank you for watching don't forget to comment below don't forget to rate and um, subscribe to my channel Xbox 360 35 and um, hope you've enjoyed it thank you